to win the game is also the difference with living and dying. It, it's that big. Washing the car and re-grabbing the buckets and stuff is that big of a deal. Because it says who you are. It says what you value. At those competitions, at the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance. The heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating. Just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Do you look someone in the eye and shake their hand? Or do you look down and give them a dead fish for him? They're all the same. Is a person a principle, a person a character that values who the fuck they are and everything they do, they do accordingly. There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. If you half-ass it here and there and there and there, you learn to half-ass it. So when it does matter, you don't know anything else but half-ass. You will never succeed that way. That kid going back and picking up the trash shows that, that he believes in himself. His name means something. He dropped it, he's responsible for it, and he's gonna do the right thing and throw it away. That same philosophy he will have on the slopes. He will have in his dating world when he grows, you know, he starts dating girls. He will have in his business and his family life. They all merge together. It's a three-dimensional world there. If you start shortcutting these things, as if oh, no one's watching, it doesn't matter, those are the moments right there that lead to the glory of that big mold, you know, boulder moving, man.